the Laptop Dojo, where the strikes come from the fists, not from copyright bots. I'm Shin Fu Payne, and today we're looking at one of the three core pillars of martial arts. Specifically, a form known as the Five Stances Form. This form goes over the stances we've already learned here on the channel in week one, but it also goes through a couple of bonus stances as well. It's a great way of both revising and learning to string the various stances together. With that all being said, let's get started and look at the Five Stances Form. Starting off by bowing, we're going to go into a tension with fists at either side of the hips, the arms tensed and the feet shoulder width apart and with bent knees. Next, we'll step out into horse stance and strike to the left. Going into forward bow stance, we're going to strike with the opposing fist. Now we're going to strike again with the left fist and bring up the leg straight into a toe kick, which is similar to the front kick, only functions more like a roundhouse with a whipping of the leg and pointing feet forwards. From there, we're going to go down back into a horse stance and strike to our right. Next, bringing our left leg behind the right, we're going to turn and strike with a right palm and then crouch down into a turn stance and strike with the left fist. From there we're going to stand back up into a crane stance and strike with a stab on our upper right. Then land smoothly in reverse both stance, hands at either side. Finally we're going to go into a sitting cat stance. Right palm forward and make a hook with our other hand reaching behind. From here we're going to go back into a tension and repeat the form. Now I'll do the whole form again at full speed for you guys. So that is the five stances form, and if you're looking at the time code and wondering why is there so much more left, that's actually because I have one more thing to go over with you guys. This is another one of those core pillars of martial arts training that I alluded to earlier. There are three pillars in total, with one being form work and one being sparring. Form work builds up that muscle memory and helps to condition the body, while sparring gives you the ability of adaptivity and being able to realise which techniques work more and work less for you. The third pillar is all based in mentality, and other me will demonstrate it now. Meditation! Now don't worry, this is not going to be where I tell you how to meditate and what the right way to do it is, because that's not my job. I'm not here to tell you how to and how not to meditate. Meditation is all about mindfulness, and that's very much personal to you as an individual. Some prefer more active forms of mindfulness, like Tai Chi. Others prefer to relax in the shower, or take a nice walk. I'm not here to tell you what works for you. Instead, I'll go over some of the benefits of meditation and mindfulness for martial arts. One of the first benefits is in the breath. Breath control is something which is very important in martial arts in order to build up power and striking, as one very wise man will tell you. No, power in fire bending comes from the breath, not the muscles. The breath becomes energy in the body. The energy extends past your limbs and becomes fire. Firebending aside, what he says there is very true to an extent. The act of breathing out when performing a strike at just the right time causes the generation of greater power. I'm not sure why, you'll need to ask a better person than me. All I'm saying is that there is a correlation. Wait a minute. Hold on. You're not meditating, you're napping. I know the difference. Another key benefit comes in the form of mentality and focus. A go-to exercise in meditation is focusing on one thing or one thought at a time, whether it be counting from one to two, 
or by focusing on the motion of your own breathing, focusing on the motion of in and out. With the ultimate goal of this being to be present and in the moment, with the benefits of which being kind of obvious. If two fighters are sparring and one is wondering what they'll have for dinner, they're not paying their full attention and... This concludes our look at the five starters form and some of the benefits of meditation, including both mental focus on the present moment and breath control. Be sure to practice the five starters form in order to practice your own stances and then flowing into each other. If you want me to take a look at your progress anytime, feel free to get in touch with me either by email or DM. I am always available for you. Thank you all for watching this week's video. Like, comment and subscribe and ring that notification bell so you never miss a new video. Next time we're going to be looking at the 18 tactics, but until then, Peace be with you.